Hi everyone, it's Karen here. Welcome, welcome. Today is my last Monday video before Christmas. Christmas 2021. And so, my hope for you is that you have a bright and sunny Christmas time and may the rest of the year be kind to you and may next year bring you everything that you wish for. So, here we have gorgeous little Pippin hoping his dreams will come true next year. The trees that we're going to be using are Fairy Fir Tree, the small one, Fir Tree 1 and Fairy Fir Tree 2. I know there are lots of these gorgeous fir trees. So just to remind you, Fairy Fir Tree small, Fairy Fir Tree 2 and Fir Tree 1 with gorgeous Pippin, the North Star and one stamp from the Three Blessings set. I'm using an A6 card, so that's an A5 folded in half, and we are using the whole card. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece of paper in the middle to protect the back of the card. The colours that we're going to be using today, Seedless Preserve, Shaded Lilac and Sponge Sugar in Distress Oxides. And then for my stamping, I'm bringing you Monarch. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to, using a piece of copy paper, we're going to create this mask, which is our hill and valley. What we want is we want a bit of space up here that we can stamp our pippin in, and then only a tiny bit of space where we're going to put hope. So we're going to create it by tearing this piece of paper, and we're going to sort of go up this way and down over here. That's it. We're going to use this side of the paper and that's what we're going to do as our mask. So I'm going to bring in my A6 piece of card with my piece of paper in the centre and I'm going to lay my mask over the card like that. I am going to tape it down. If you've got a magnetic sheet, that will work too. The tape that I'm using is low-tack stencil tape from Sweet Poppy Stencils. It's just the best low-tack tape I've ever found. It doesn't mark your card. And it'll just keep all of this in place. Okay, I'm gonna start with my darkest color. And I'm going to blend the Seedless Preserve here, then the Sponge Sugar, and then my Shaded Lilac. Now I am going to speed this video up a bit because otherwise you'll get bored. And I don't want that because I want you to watch to the end. <laughs> so slowly, slowly, you want this blend to be smooth and even. You'll see that I rub it off the paper here because this is very fine and I don't want to get too many scratches underneath my mask. I am going to be using my blending sponges today. A good amount on my sponge and then I'm just going to start as I said I don't usually start by blending this way, but because this paper is thin, I could of course use the hill masks, but to be honest, for this one, I wanted to get the sort of torn look that you would if it was snowing. Okay, and now I'm going to do what I normally would do, which is my circular motion with the blending sponge.
So there we have our gorgeous little base card. I'm just going to clean this off because I don't want any of this underneath me. That could have been a bit smoother, but hey ho. Now we're going to bring in all our trees. I'm just stamping these with one single colour. And that is my Monarch in Versafine Clear. So I'm going to start, <clears throat> I'm not going to throw my mask away because we want that as we're stamping our trees. I'm just going to place it back in its place. And then I'm going to start with the thinner, taller trees. But hey, any composition of trees. Let's make sure we get the mask in the right place, otherwise we'll have a bit of a gap. <laughs> we don't want that. So I am going to start with the second generation stamping. You see what I mean here? The softer stamping in the background and then come in with the first generation stamping last of all. So I'm going to ink up my stamp and then I'm going to pop it second generation at different parts along my card. Different heights always, that gives us interest and variety. We're going to pop this one a bit taller, sort of just coming into the pink. Again, always different heights. This one just peeking out. There we go. We can always come back and layer some more in a moment. Then I'm going to take this one. Again, I'm going to do second generation. This one's a bit spikier at the top, which is great. I'm going to do this one first generation. So you can just play with this first, second, however you like. I'm then going to come in with my focal point trees. So I'm sure by now everybody's getting ready their Christmas preparations. My Christmas decorations are up. Yay! I made it. Here we go. This tree, we're going to pop well into the pink and probably just touching the purple there. This is a very handsome tree, this one. And again, first generation right in the center here so that it stands out. Lovely. So I said we would go back in and out. I'm going to do my tall, thin one. Definitely second generation here. And I'm going to pop this just a bit taller. Lovely. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, we're going to pop these away. Then I'm going to bring in my cute little Pippin as he is looking up at the sky. You want to make sure he's well inked or use your stamping platform if you're not sure. I'm going to pop him just over here so that he's looking up into the sky. Gorgeous. 
hope because we all need hope. <laughs> Beautiful stamp, this one. I'm just going to pop this simple, clear, just over here. Now, before I do my splatters and my embossing, I'm going to dry this with a heat gun because I don't want anything to stick where I don't want it to stick. So I'll come back to you. Just before I do the embossing, my splatters, I'm going to ground Little Pippin. I'm going to put, I'm using just a black ink pencil and I'm going to just colour, give him a bit of a shadow. So I'm trying to make it look like he's sitting in the snow. He's sort of planted in there a bit. So I've just shaded a bit around him. I'm just going to smudge it a bit. So again, it looks like he's sort of dipped into the snow a bit. better. Fabulous. Now I'm going to emboss my North Star. For that I'm going to use Wow Embossing Powder, the white one. My ink pad. I am going to use my anti-static bag so that I just make sure that I don't get any embossing powder anywhere else. Although because we are going to do splatters, it won't matter that much. So here's my North Star. I am going to ink it up this way. Making sure there's a good amount of ink on the stamp. And I'm just going to pop it up here, so he is looking up to the North Star. Sorry, I should have had that ready for you. There we go. Fabulous. I'm going to heat that and come back to you. And last, but by no means least, we are going to create the splatters over the card. Bringing back my mask, just popping it down there. I'm going to use some white paint. Water it down with a tiny bit of water and use my fan brush to create the splatters. I do want a good amount of water so that the paint runs. That's it. That's flowing a bit better now. And then I'm just going to tap the back of it with the back of another brush. And there we have these gorgeous splatters. You can see they show up a lot better on the darker ink. And then what I'm going to do is take my corner rounder punch and just round the edges of the card. I think for a simple, elegant card like this, the rounded edges give it a bit of extra something. So thank you, thank you so much for being here, for all your support throughout the year. I've thoroughly enjoyed bringing you these Monday videos. Thanks so much for watching. Have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.